So I wonder how you're feeling today. Are you still buoyed by the jubilation knowing that your com- you've just seen your country win a major football tournament? Or are you holding your head in despair wondering how on earth England yet again failed to win on a penalty shootout? I've no idea how the, the game's going to turn out on Sunday. I'm recording this a couple of days before, so really everything is in the hands of God. And actually that's quite appropriate given today's verse. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. As we're rapidly approaching lifting of some of the, the lockdown restrictions and a return to the, the sense of freedom and a sense of sense of a new normality. I wonder really are we putting God at the centre of our plans? Are we giving space for God to work through us? As a as a church we've been exploring what building back will look like. What that what that means for our patterns of corporate worship. But don't forget, corporate worship is only one part. Our, our faith lasts seven days a week, not just two hours on a Sunday. As we develop our plans for holiday and our plans for the future, are we giving God space? It's important that we remember the Lord in all that we do and we commit to him to show us the path to go, commit to him to make the right decision. So as win or lose, as we don't give a monkeys about the football or we're still bitterly disappointed or we're jubilant and over the moon, let us remember what really matters and who's really in charge. My prayer to us today is that whatever we're doing in our daily lives, in our future, that we're committing to God and giving him the chance to develop those plans in the way that he wants rather than the way that we want. Amen.